keep rolling. Now listen at this. And this is for white people and black people to understand. Brown people and other people. This is specifically, I'm speaking between black and white. Black people have never really hated no white folks. They hated the unjust people who raped our daughters, hang our men, beat our wives and walked in our houses and took our spouses at will, sold us in slavery. We have never hated no white folks. Why you believe that? Because he made you ignorant too. But you can't see it, but how long is it going to take you to open your eyes and see that? You have never known. Go through history and study and just see yourself how many times black people on the masses, like you in your white race, have just went around and attacked white people. You ain't going to find it. Because we don't tolerate that. Oh, you're going to have some gangsters. They in all races that's going to do that and screw their hatred. It doesn't mean the masses of black people agree with that. That's a lie. And you know it's a lie. Because black people don't do that. But you allow that to happen and then say, well, I have a friend. I never had no slave, but you tolerate it. You say, well, I never did nothing to black people. Now, you know when you went on your job and everybody in your office was white. Everybody working in the factory was white. You knew that wasn't right, but it was benefiting you. So you didn't do nothing about it. Until Hitler put our neck in a sling. Then you was going to become a slave just like us and die by the millions. So then you open up your factories. You open up your war machine. And guess what? All of that beating us and hanging us and raping us, we came to the call for our country and for humanity. We answered the call by the thousands. And you had Gestapo agents in all our neighborhoods, Chicago, New York, California. You had these Gestapo agents in our neighborhood. The same ones we was fighting. You had them in our neighborhood. But did we refuse to call? No. We begged and fought and prayed that we may do our part to save freedom. And we saved it. We did. In tank battalions, in infantry battalions, in the air, on the ground, how many supplies and how many white soldiers would have died if them black soldiers didn't get them supplies to them? Didn't get that ammunition to them? But you so ungrateful and fail to use your mind and so hateful till you wouldn't use your own mind and look beyond that. You came home and you perpetuated that. And as a young man growing up, a young boy seeing my brothers and my cousins come back from war wounded and injured, and see them called niggas. Think how I feel. I still don't hate you. Why would I hate you? You're the one ignorant and losing. Not me. Why would I hate the black people who allowed that? But now, these young people now, is saying, I'm not going to allow it anymore. Because you're killing me. You're taking my education. You're depriving me of our education, wealth, educational wealth. You done stole all of my inventions. You're still stealing them. You know these people like Jack Daniels and these people who blood transfusions and plasma. You know these people in these universes got rich over African Americans and slaves. Nobody demanded that you share that with that family. Blood plasma and stuff like that. Because you got all the benefits from it. Yeah, you fought and you bled and you died. And you worked in factories, but you didn't get beat and hanged and raped and murdered and think it's all right. That's the difference. There's no way I'm going to teach my grandkids, I'm going to teach my kids to take that. There's no way. No way under the earth. All of the police departments across this city, 
They are not policemen. They are policemen for other people. They are dictators and controllers for us, Gestapo agents. And don't come telling me about not all of them is. I don't want to hear that from black or whites. Because if you tolerate stuff, just like on your job, and Lord bless John Lewis. He left this earth, but God bless him. Because he is a man that stepped up with his word and put his body there, put his mind there. If something's wrong and you go along with it, you part of it. So don't come telling me you got a black friend or a white friend and you ain't did your duty as a citizen. You ain't studied your own history. You deny yourself of being African. Talking about you an American. Yeah, you an American, but your origin is African. Just like an American Indian or an Italian or a Frenchman. Your origin, you come from Africa. In fact, I've said this before, all of us come from Africa. That's the mother of the world. But all these people in this country who have came here and walked around eating in restaurants while we was fighting Nazis, you think about it. Just only thing I'm asking you to do is, is when I'm talking to you, is just reverse what I'm saying happened to me and put yourself in that place and then tell me how would you feel. Education, economics, business, stealing people's ideas. Just turn, just turn around and say, if that was you, how would you feel and what would you do? If you found out your mom and dad was coming home, lying to you, and telling you stuff that wasn't true, but you knew it because you went off to college and you was around African Americans, you snuck around, you was around them, you knew, but you wanted to keep that privilege. And black people, when you got up, you didn't tell us certain stuff. You hid it to protect us, but you wasn't protecting us. You was keeping us from our history and what them people actually did. How brutal they was to us. How brutal they was to my mama and sister, aunts and cousins and stuff. How they raped and pillaged and beat us to death, stomped us to death, roasted us in the fire like animals. You should have told us this stuff. My parents did. My people did. They told me. And they showed us. But on a large scale, we don't want to know about that. Oh, that's in the past. No, it's not. Look at what's happening to us right now. This disease is on us because of racism. And people trying to set this country back where it was before. To my make America great again. These are pigs and animals and disciples from the Nazis. That's all they are. All the privileges, just think about all the privileges you was coming into after World War II. You got homes and cars and boats and stuff. African Americans wasn't getting it, but you was. But look how they've stolen that stuff from you. Take our tax money and give other wealthy people billions of dollars. People make billions of dollars because we bled like, we bled to make this country free. I mean, blood on the beach like water. All the small wars and stuff that we went through serving our country. That was blood. Now people were never able to start families so we could get an education with our own tax money. And people who benefited from this won't do nothing. Now I got to go to something that now as old as I am I'm ready to fight. When you mess with that post office, now I'm ready to fight, physically fight, because these are beasts and animals. These people work hard at that post office to get us our mail, our medicine, our senior citizens, our social security checks. They done taken the mail box. How the senior citizens gonna go, go get to the post office? You gotta go drive and get, they took all the mailboxes off of the corner inch by inch. These are beasts. And sometimes you have to deal with a beast like he is. And I'm telling you, if you sit down and put up with this, black, white, green, purple, or whatever you are, 
if you put up with this doing this to the post office, they not only better put it back, they better put everything back that they get and hire some people. They took those mailboxes and those routes away so they say you don't need the people. If you don't need the people, then why you want to develop FedEx and UPS? If you don't need people to deliver that mail, then what you need UPS and, 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 and FedEx for? Because they lying. They telling a bare face lie to steal our money. We want every post office. Down the street from me, there's a brand new post office. They done ripped out all the mailboxes, all the equipment. They were stacked up in the yard. And then they renting a mall out here off of Pines Road for people to go get their mail. Million dollar post office sitting right there. No postman working out of it. If you people sit down and stand for them attacking our post office and all these people up there in the Senate and in Congress and in our state senators ain't doing nothing, these are traitors. These are dirty, rotten traitors. That's what they are. Don't come up here telling me about you no Republican. You ain't no Republican and you ain't no Democrat because you don't believe in the Constitution. You are dirty, rotten traitor. That's what you are. And I'm telling you to your face, that's what you are. A dirty, rotten traitor who betraying all your people, all your constituents, and lying to them. I don't care nothing about no red state, no blue state, no Democrat or Republican or independent. I care about the American people, the citizens of this country. And there be about to be a bunch of us, senior citizens and young people, better say, no, we're not going to take this no more. When you attack the post office, it's like coming into my house and spitting on my food. And you people in the post office, you need to reach out to the citizens, to your neighbors, to your friends, and tell them what these people are doing. We didn't know. A lot of things we didn't know. You know it. Don't just depend upon the union. You reach out as individuals and tell us. That's in anything that we do. We have to communicate with each other and let each other know what they're doing to us. Black, white, green, purple, or whatever nationality or race you are. Don't keep it in your race. Don't keep it to yourself. Make sure everybody know it. Because God knows there's a lot of people who want to reach out and help. They want to reach out and join hand. But if they don't know, us black people didn't reach out to white people as much as we could have. And let them know and show them and demonstrate it to them on what was happening to them. It would have been more of them helping us than that did. Let us start operating as a state and as a United States. Instead of being tribal, I'm black, you white, you, you, you Muslim, you this and that. Let us reach out to each other and let each other know because we are all American citizens. And everything you do is just like in your family, your immediate family, going from your mom and dad to your sisters and brothers, to your friends, to your community, what you do affects them. The road don't just run in front of your house. It runs past your house to your neighbor. We have to share. And that's how we built this great nation with wood choppers, factory builders, ditch dill diggers, yes, and slaves, the most brutal poor. We built this nation. Don't let them fool you talking about a charter school or a private school and all that. Education is education. Put that money back in our public schools and put those programs back. We don't have no programs in public schools no more. I went over that. So either you listen to the message or you don't. But I'm sure you will, because I see change in my nation. I might be 77 years old, but I see a change in my nation with all of you young people. I trust and believe in young people. And the reason I do, if you go back through history, if you say wars, education, pioneers, all the things that you named that were young people, they wanted to see and they wanted to do and they still do. We gotta trust them. We gotta train them, we gotta educate them, and then we gotta let them run this nation. That's a fact. 
We got to listen to our young people. Because young people got us where we are today. They chop wood from sunup to sundown. They pick cotton from sunup to sundown. They raise factories from sunup to sundown. They built bullets and guns to protect us from sunup to sundown. Our children will do the same. We got to trust them. You can't keep them children. Give them the responsibility and step back and watch what happened to our nation. We can make, even though it wasn't intended at the time, but we can make this work. We can make it come true if we keep those animals from running our nation and our money. When we see them, we gotta impeach them, we gotta remove them from office, or we gotta recall them. And we can't hesitate about it, young people. And you can't take this, you gotta, the police department, we don't hate you. But why would you give in to these Nazis? You know they doing this stuff to my people. To poor white people. To people who don't have the money to go to court and lie and get out of it. You know they doing it. You ain't ratting them, ratting them out. You got loyalty to them. Why? Because just in case you do something wrong, you want to be protected by the same crooked system. That's why you put up with it. You put up that crooked job because you might want to be crooked and get promoted unfairly. That's why you do it. Stop fooling yourself. You know that. I didn't talk to enough today. Mm. You laid a lot on us, Papa. You laid a lot on us. Thank you.